All right, folks, what is up? This is One Big Bug, and I'm coming at you with Euro Truck Simulator 2. And in this one, we are continuing our haul of our Caterpillar D7H, which is a 30-ton load. We didn't take the most expensive trailer. You know, this is only uh, 20000 But uh, it's to a destination we haven't been to yet, and it's a trailer we haven't hauled yet. It's a little bit breezy right now. I really can't help that. It it's going to be too hot if I close the window. I've already tried. It, it, it's way too damn hot if I do that. So, just going to have to put up with that. My view, my, yeah, it's going to skew because, I need, again, I need to move my mouse pad, which I always forget to do. Uh, so, I need a little more volume in my ears. There we go. Be a little careful here. Again, it, this trailer is not a bad haul. The weight's decent. Um, it's not extra long. It's about an average length trailer. It's just a little extra wide that we have to be cautious of. So being on like the outside of a... Uh, there's just a trailer in the middle of the road. Just hanging out. That's different. There's another one. These glitches in the game, I guess. Maybe they are intended to be that way. I don't know. You see, I think this is how they're supposed to be parked. Up on the side. And they're just, like, misplaced. It's alright. It happens. Now, I don't know what kind of drive this is going to be, if we're going to have hill climbs, because you, you do see mountains around, yeah? Uh, yeah, okay, that's the right. Nice little boost down that hill for some extra speed. Uh, it is coming nighttime, so I do have my lights on. I'm going to try and make it to the next... Did I clip him? I don't think I clipped him, because he kept going. So I think we're okay. I think it was really close, but I might have. Which will be alright. It'd be like 1% damage to the trailer at most. We should be fine. I am noticing a significant difference in my fuel usage since uh, popping those points into my fuel economy. Yeah. I noticed that. I'm actually looking forward to start showcasing some new trucks, too. There's been a lot of new trucks that have come up around, and I want to try them. i got to be real careful. These are some pretty sharp corners I'm taking at a very liberal speed. But, you know, we'll, you know, we'll see. i got to read up on them. I haven't read uh, about them, what people say. Because it's... Skins hardly ever get anyone saying thank you, good job, beautiful skin. Or if there's an issue with the skin, um, you know, doesn't say they don't say anything. I just realized I'm on a hill. And um so that's why sometimes you might hear me catch a little surprise when I showcase a skin. It's like, hey, um, this doesn't quite look right. Even though that may happen, the skins are still good. I don't think I, I've had a skin that I put up where I was like, oh, man, I should have researched this one more. It looks ugly. No. All the skins look really nice. Um... Trucks, on the other hand, it's real easy to get a truck that uh, is really messed up. 
and you better believe those get reviewed and they get reviewed pretty damn hard people are not kind when it comes to truck uh, reviews if people make mistakes now if you're trying to fix a skin or improve a skin or something of that nature I could understand But, um, you know, I could have, no, man, I got myself all confused. Oh, I'm sorry. If you're trying to fix a skin or make a skin for the first time, I don't understand it. You know, don't sit there and bitch about it. Don't sit there and complain. You know... Don't sit there and be a jerk about it. Why? Because, you know, these pers these people are trying. And they're not going to find the mistakes that we're going to find. Because they can only test it so much. One person doing it and it works with what they have. Versus nine, you know, versus like 9,000 other people doing it. You know, someone's bound to find something. You know, so there's that there. You know, you want to get mad at somebody. Get mad at somebody. And there's a few of these people... That take the same truck and um, just repost it. They don't even try to fix it. You know, they don't try to fix it. They don't try to modify. It. They just repost and say, "Oh, new truck," I, you know, version whatever, whatever, whatever. No, it's not. It's the same damn thing. It's got the same damn problems. Those are the people you get mad at. And other people complain, "Oh, why don't you lock the file?" Why'd you lock the file so we can't go in and change stuff? Yeah, well, that's why. So you can't go in and change just a few things around and call it a new truck. And say, oh, look what I made. This is mine. That's why they locked them. There are plenty of people that do that. They go in and they maybe just, like change one or two things and then try to claim them as their own. You know, they're protecting their they're protecting their work. They're protecting their stuff from people who would turn around and say, "I made this." You know, there there's a comic that comes around on Reddit every so often. Um, you know, it says, "I posted this," and then the guy standing there says, "You posted this?" He goes, "Yep." And I goes, okay, you posted this. And the guy walks away, and then the guy standing there there says, I posted this. You know, it's all about, you know, reposting content and calling it your own. I can understand on Reddit some. Because... Um, you're not going to see everything on Reddit. You're just not. Everything may be on Reddit, but that doesn't mean you're going to see it. So you may find something that you find funny or that you find new um, or something like that. Um, but if you search it on Google or Bing or whatever engine you choose to use as a search engine, um, yeah, chances are it's already been up on Reddit. It's that simple. Uh, the only time something's going to be truly unique is if you took the picture of it or you created it. Yeah? That is when it'll actually be unique. But, anyways, the comic, they, they just change the words around where this guy comes up and he's holding something and goes, I made this. And the guy walks up and goes, you made that? And the guy goes, yep, I made this. And he hands it over to the guy, to you know, to the guy that walked up, and he walks away. The guy that walked up stands there for a sec, looks at it, and goes, "I made this." You know, there's plenty of people out there who are more than willing to try and claim your fame for themselves. So I don't blame modders for locking their mods because they put a lot of hard work, time, and effort into those mods, and they don't want people. Going in, changing a couple things around and saying, look, this is mine. 
No, it's not. This is slightly annoying, but I don't dare try and like pass with this corner here. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna end up on an uphill anyways. So I'm just letting her roll right now. I'm not sure how far we're gonna get today. I honestly like the fact that we're hauling dozer uh, bulldozer. Ah, oh, not much longer, yeah. Not much longer and American Truck Simulator comes out. Not much longer and there's there's the Diablo expansion comes out. Now I gotta be fair. I haven't touched Diablo very much. The Diablo expansion. Everything that they change. <gasps> the game actually looks good. I finally went on to the PTR. And I played around with my Barbarian. Oh my god, has so much change for the Barbarian. Where 99.9% .9 of Barbarians might have used the Sprint, um, Whirlwind, Extra Rage. Um, I, forget, I forget the name of the runes. But they would use... Um, what is it? Uh, Battle Shout or something like that. I, I, God, I, it, because I don't play it that much. But basically, it, it increases your critical hit chance and your damage. And then um, every time you would, you know, critical hit, you generate extra rage. You have a chance to generate extra rage. And then they would use War Cry with impunity in many cases. Um, then they would use Sprint with uh, the rune that leave little tornadoes in your wake. And then they'd use Whirlwind with the rune that allows you to Whirlwind at your normal moving speed rather than slower. And then they would use, um, what is it, uh, they would use like Bash or something of that nature with the ability that, uh, they would use Bash with the, the ability to generate extra rage. And then they'd use Wrath of the Berserker with the ability that every time you gained Rage, um, it would extend the duration of Wrath of the Berserker. Yeah, well, that build no longer exists in the PTR. When the expansion comes out or the next patch comes out before the expansion, if they do that, that build no longer exists. It doesn't. It's completely shot. They removed everything about it. I don't even use Whirlwind on my barb anymore. On my big two-hander barb, I don't use Whirlwind anymore. Nope. I use, um, I use, um, I think it's called Battle Rage. I use Battle Rage, uh, and I forget what rune I use. I use Warcry with Impunity. I use, um, I use Charge with, I think it's Juggernaut. It's the rune there where the more enemies you hit, lower its cooldown. Um, I use Wrath of the, oh, no, okay, now I remember, um, I use, uh, Earthquake with, I believe it's Call of the Mountain. It removes the rage cost and lowers the cooldown. I use Wrath of the Berserker, and I use Frenzy, which increases damage when you're in Wrath of the Berserker. And I use um, uh, Frenzy, uh, the ability that allows you to... I'm, I'm going to put up a video about it, in all the honesty. But it's the video that allows you, that every time you uh, take a swing at something, your next hit comes faster, stacks up to five times. I use that with Sidearm. I use uh, Furious Charge, or I think it's called Berserker, and um, what's the last one I use? Um, I was just thinking about it too. No, actually that was it. Yeah, that was it. And uh, I use Boon of Bulkathos to lower the cooldown of uh, Earthquake to where it's basically a normal ability almost. Uh, Boonable Kathos. 
I use the ability where um, um, I use the ability where uh, you deal more damage for having maxed out uh, rage. Wow, that corner was mean. And I use the ability the I think it's uh, tough as nails. The one that increases your armor by X amount of your vitality. Yeah, I use that one. I'm going to make a video about it, to be honest. I just don't know when I'm going to post it. And um, it actually works really well. Um, it's less survivable than what I'm used to doing. Uh, some of the minions I've come up against are can be tough. Especially if you're caught standing still without charge. Because charge is also your out. If you get surrounded, then you just charge and try and get away from the enemies. Um, but basically, Earthquake uh, into Frenzy is your big damage. Into uh, Wrath of the Berserker, that's your big damage. I almost consider, because I'm using uh, Boon of Bulkathos, to using all three major abilities... Uh, so that would include Call of the Ancients. But it's not conductive of what I'm going for. I'm going for a build that expends very uh, little rage and can build it up rather quickly. Because Furious Charge generates rage. Frenzy generates rage. Uh, Commanding Shout with Impunity generates rage. Only Battle Cry or Battle Frenzy, whatever the hell it is. And... Um, and uh, Wrath of the Berserker actually uh, expend uh, rage. So it actually worked pretty well on Expert. Matter of fact, I think I'm a little overgeared for Expert, but I found a legendary. I found a really nice legendary uh, bracers. Frickin' awesome. It's, uh, oh yeah, let me go. Thank you. It's too bad that it's on the PTR and I can't copy it back over to the main server. <laughs> That's so sad. But it's still pretty damn good. I want to look at my monk, see what my monk has. I do like that... Um, I do like that... Uh, is it? Uh, one of those levels after 60, man, I can never remember what they're called. And Paragon. Your Paragon levels are now across your account. So, like, all my characters have Paragon level 35. So that's really freaking cool. You know, this truck in front of me, for as long as this son of a bitch has been in front of me, it's really starting to piss me off. I am so used to driving with very little traffic in front of me right now. And I'm starting to get annoyed. At least he moved out from in front of me. I had enough momentum that I could easily get through that uh, stop. Oh, that changed sooner than I thought it would. But we're all right. We didn't we didn't get a fine for that, and we're at our next uh, stop, anyways. I really forgot that I had put yellow lights up top. I put a couple beacons up there. I forgot about that. Am I slow rolling? Yeah, actually I am. How well are we doing anyways? Looks like we're going to pass... Yeah, recruitment agency. Finding more recruitment agencies is really good because it gives you a wider variety and a better chance to find better drivers. 
as far as I can tell, 0.8 is the lowest you can get. Uh, I used to think 1.7 was the highest. Well, that's actually not true. Um, because I've hired 2.5, I think, or 2.8. So. I might want to consider a gas station soon, just, you know, don't know what's where right now. I haven't looked at the map. So basically what it becomes now is a drive until you see a gas station. And when you see one, hit the map, determine if you can make it to the next one. Actually, it looks like we're almost to our ferry, which will be the end of this video, regardless of uh, how tired I am or not. Because the dotted lines, of course, represent the ferry trip. swag back and forth was me. I don't know if the physics actually work, but this little swag back and forth that I was doing was me trying to bleed momentum out of the truck. Supposedly there's a nice comfortable spot where you can actually go over these at speed. And it won't bother your truck too much. Apparently that's not it. That was almost it. That was almost it. So shall we try this? Not bad, really. I didn't record it because I think it was on my Volvo. I just went like very smoothly over this uh, um, I went very smoothly over this uh, speed bump. I looked at it and was like that never happens. So I'm trying to find that spot again. Well, sadly, we will not be driving up a ramp onto a ferry. I could drive my truck over the ramp, but sadly, they put this over here rather than on the ramp. So... <sighs> Let's hope there's only one place I can go. There is. There. We completed uh, this leg of the trip on this part of the island. That's done. So now, probably just one more video from here to here. Probably, maybe, uh, even if it's a little bit longer, but I think we can do it in a single shot. We do have some toll boosts in the way, unfortunately. One, well, that one's not, but there are two, three, uh, four, five six we got about six toll booths that we're gonna have to go through but anyways oops I didn't actually mean to do that that's gonna be me done for this episode folks I hope you've enjoyed watching this as much as I've enjoyed bringing it to you if you can leave a comment rate and subscribe down bottom that would be really great but until then this is gonna be one big bugger I'm signing out and I'll see you on the road <laughs>